Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we will be learning applique, okay, which I have done on my daughter's uh, top, which I'll be doing on my daughter's top. So this is a plain top. As you can see, it's simply very plain. It's a little bit of a stretchable fabric, and uh, we will be doing an applique on this. And she is a die-hard fan of BTS, okay. So BTS is the Korean uh, pop uh, group, and uh, I thought that you know I will take this motif which I got on uh, Pinterest, and um, uh, you know. For the logo, main logo of uh, this um, uh, motif, I will be using this fabric. As you can see, it's uh, you know sequin fabric. It's actually a red fabric, uh, red georgette, on which there is this um, antique gold colored uh, sequin is there. And then uh, for the floral part, I am using this uh, you know printed fabric. It's a normal uh, printed fabric which has got uh, these uh, flowers. Okay, so this is what I will be uh, using. Yeah. and uh, with this uh, using this i will be making this uh, pattern and uh, the kind of technique the technique that i will be majorly using in this is called broidery purse okay it's a very old technique in this uh, we will uh, use this printed floral um, uh, motif from the fabric we'll do button hole stitch and then uh, we'll put it on the top fix it on the top so i'll show you the entire process for the logo i'm not using the broidery purse uh, technique instead i will be using the uh, turn needle technique okay so you will see that also so two main techniques have been used uh, for this applique so uh, let's quickly see this here as you can see i'm preparing the main motif first so for that i am using the button hole stitch always fix the fabric uh, in a frame because uh, then it will be tight and you will be able to do it better the finishing would be much better so um, uh, using the button hole stitch will uh, highlight the entire uh, Uh, motif and i will do a few things later on also what i am doing is i am using matching thread so for the rose i will be using this light uh, pink uh, thread for the leaves where the leaf is green i will use uh, green uh, thread where it is brown i will be using brown uh, somewhere it is little bit purplish uh, tinge so there i will be using uh, purple thread and uh, this way i will be finishing the entire uh, uh, motif and uh, then we will see the rest of the process and uh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, this so i have already uh, made this all our button hole stitch and then i highlighted it with these uh, uh, sugar beads a little bit because i was very inspired by some of the images that i saw on pinterest that is what they do i didn't go overboard i didn't do a lot i did just bare minimum because this is a proper western top so you know i highlighted it so i have tried to do the color match wherever it is green leaf i used green where it is brown leaf i used brown for light brown leaves i used light brown and uh, these were little bit purplish leaves so i used the purple color so that is what i have done uh, to make it look um, uh, you know to give it a little bit of pop so as you can see this is the uh, one after embroidery and uh, before embroidery it was like this there is so much of difference right huge difference in the way it uh, looks so i'm using this uh, small uh, scissor here and uh, slowly i'm going to cut it off slowly so first i'm going to do a rough cut and then i'm going to uh, do a proper cut So this is uh, where I have uh, decided to add the fusing because this was a synthetic fabric and it's very thin. Uh, generally, uh, you know, we use sometimes thicker fabric for applique and all. So adding fusing will give it some body. It will look nice. It will remain a little bit stiff, and all the threads uh, of embroidery are also you know hidden and they are contained properly. So I am uh, uh, ironing in the fusing nicely so that it gets uh, stuck, and then I'll do the main uh, cutting. So as you can see. i have done the rough cut here right so now i am going to slowly 
cut around the edges now while cutting around the edges make sure that the uh, embroidery that has been done that does not get cut otherwise uh, you'll need to fix that again okay so now buttonhole stitch what it does is it holds the fabric okay it holds the threads of the fabric and nothing will fray so that is the benefit of the buttonhole stitch so see i have cut this part i have to cut around the entire edge clean way okay so see this is here right the benefit of fusing is that you know it locks everything whatever thread and everything the knots etc it gets locked because of this uh, fusing and it remains and second thing is since this was synthetic fabric adding fusing gave it some body because few, uh, generally these kind of applique we do in cotton uh, 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 flannel and all those kind of things so you know when it gives a little bit of body it is uh, it, it looks better and uh, we will be able to process it uh, further better so i'll cut this entire thing with this small scissor slowly and then uh, we'll proceed with the next step then i have cut the fusing in the shape of the logo now okay the bottom part is straight as my daughter pointed out that it is not straight the reason why i have kept it straight is because it will go inside the uh, applique that we will be doing and now i'll cut it off so when i cut i won't cut it straight here because then it will become thin i don't want that i will keep a little bit extra fabric to fold for folding and then i will uh, cut it okay so once i have done the cutting i'll show it to you so i have done the cutting and then i have folded like this and ironed it okay so now what i will do i will just use a straight stitch and do the tacking tacking in the sense i'll just uh, stitch it with a rough stitch um, and which i can remove later on so that you know everything remains in place normal uh, run stitch is what i'm going to use and do the tacking so i'm doing a simple uh, tacking like this tacking in the sense you know i'm folding it as per the thing and i'm just putting a run stitch so this is called run stitch straight stitch and later on what i'll do after i have finished uh, uh, doing the applique i'll remove all these extra stitches okay so everywhere i'm going to do this and uh, you know keep a check that this is how it is looking i have already done one uh, uh, finished one tacking so this is how it is the tacking right and this is the other one so i'll finish this and then i will uh, show you the next process so as you can see i have uh, just put the pin here and now i will do the uh, applique as in i will uh, tuck it in right now you see one is uh, higher one is lower so there is nothing to worry because i will put the other patch which i have already uh, prepared like uh, this right so something like this so i uh, we will see the entire arrangement and uh, the bottom part will uh, get hidden so that is not an issue okay so i will do the tucking now and it's very simple i will be using the hem stitch to do the tucking so this is the turn needle applique you can say so in turn needle actually the fabric is uh, turned with the help of the needle like this and then the stitching is done but in this case i have already done the tacking so that you know everything is nicely finished and smooth because this is a sequence fabric so you know edges will not always be smooth so that's why i have ironed and i have done the tucking and now i will just do the uh, uh, stitching i'll stitch it with the uh, hem stitch okay so here you can see i am using normal hem stitch and i am uh, tucking it in now uh, you may think that why am i doing it on the dummy uh you can do it you can remove the uh, uh whatever you are doing the applique on you can remove it and do it directly i am doing it on the dummy because this is a little bit stretch fabric so it will de behave a little bit uh, different and it's a very small applique in a very small uh, uh, portion so uh, it will be done easier and faster if i uh, do it this way so now you can see i am just uh, doing like a hem stitch with a matching thread and i am fixing so see this has got fixed okay this exactly same way i am going to finish the entire thing and then i will show you the next part which is the floral motif okay so if you see i have uh, pinned this i have done that completed that and i have pinned this motif right and uh, uh, so this is a normal one which i had added fusing right and now what i am going to do i am going to finish it exactly the same way that i did this like you know using the hem stitch i am going to fix it on this 
and then uh, we'll see the final re reveal i was also thinking of adding sponge on this but then i thought uh, let me just keep it uh, simple uh, you can even add sp sponge inside the uh, you know bigger parts uh, or you know uh, batting etc as it's called and it looks uh, 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 i mean it gives a kind of a raised effect it gives a, a really nice so elevated effect it gives uh, but uh, yeah so let me just quickly finish this and same exactly same way i'm going to use matching thread and i'm going to finish the entire uh, uh, you know uh, 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 this motif so as you see i have already finished uh, this motif using button hole stitch and now i am uh, doing exactly same way i am using a matching thread and i am doing the uh, using the hem stitch and fixing it okay you have to be extra careful at the corners fix it a little bit uh, uh, tightly okay so that uh, because they will undergo more stress comparatively so lock the uh, corners nicely now this kind of uh, um, applique where you uh, finish the uh, thing on a printed fabric and then you put it it's called broderie uh, purse i have already written an article a few days back uh, you can check the article on the different types of applique um, i'll leave the link of that uh, blog post in the description box below so see uh, i'm just using hem stitch and i am finishing it see here yeah it's getting fixed nothing is visible it's uh, perfectly clean okay so exactly same way i'm going to finish all the edges but i'm going to use matching thread so here i'm not going to use this color here i'll use light brown here i'll use green so it is going to take some time but the effect will be very nice also i will stitch these inner parts also so that you know there is no gap like this okay it will be nicely fixed with the main fabric so that it looks uh, a part of this uh, dress so i'm just uh, finishing this off and then we'll see the uh, actual final reveal so this is the final reveal it is really looking very nice it added a kind of zing to the plain top earlier and i hope you liked this video if you like this video do hit on the like button do comment and uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel also uh, there is a free webinar that i conduct in case you want to learn fashion designing in case you want to um, set up your own boutique please attend that free webinar the link of that is in the description box so this is how this entire thing uh, turned out did you like it if so please do mention it in the comment box mm -hmm.